Welcome back to Brain Flow TV, everybody. It's your host with the most. When I first saw this picture of Trick Daddy, I said, Boy, hey, Trick, if you don't get your ass, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nah, man. I mean, damn, Uncle Trick. The fuck going on? What is up with that hair, bruh, bruh? Okay, so the news says that, according to the news, and this is straight out of the Miami Herald. It says that Trick Daddy was arrested in Miami Saturday, in Miami Dade. And if you don't know, he is known as the mayor of Dade County. Trick Daddy is heavy in the 305. Don't take my word for it. Just go ask some other rappers who tried to disrespect the program and was told that Miami is a no-fly zone for them or they got to check in. Now, anyways... According to the police report, a Miami-Dade officer responded to a report of a person that was driving, right, hitting hitting signs left and right of the streets and running red lights in a dark-colored Range Rover in the area of Southwest 128th Avenue and 42nd Street in Miami around 3.20 a.m. That's in the city. That's Dade County all day. When the officer approached the driver's side of the vehicle, he saw that the driver appeared to be asleep behind the wheel. So the phone call that came into the police said that this person who was driving is out here swerving both sides of the street. They hitting all the damn stop signs and they running all the red lights. <laughs> that's funny. You hitting the stop signs, but you running the red lights. Oh, no, that's funny as hell. But anyhow, no one was hurt. Let me put that out there first. By the time the police got there, the car was parked and Trick was asleep behind the wheel, according to the police report. Once he was awakened by the police knocking on the, the knocking on the window, he identified through his driver's license as Maurice Samuel Young. That is his government name. Trick Daddy's name of birth. He told the officer, he said, Ossifer, I was drinking. And I had a couple of drinks. I'm coming from the club, right? You know, they interrogate you. Where you coming from? Are you okay? Um, blah, blah, blah. The arrest affidavit said that Trick Daddy told the officer that he had about five drinks a, a couple of hours earlier at the club. And he was dropping somebody off to their house before he was heading home to his own house. The report said that he was slurred speech bloodshot, watery, and glassy eyes, and that the officer also said that his breath smelt like alcohol. So they said, Trick, step out the car, man. You're going to have to do this damn breathalyzer, bruh, the field sobriety test, which he failed. So he was taken to the Hammocks District Station on 142nd Avenue. While there, police... You know, they got to search you and all that before they you go through intake. And they found a dollar bill in his pocket. So the police stretched the dollar bill out. And inside of the dollar bill, he found some cocaine. A little bit of coke. A little bit of powder for the nose. Now, let's get this straight. Trick Daddy ain't never lied. The man says that he does coke. In Miami, it's called bunk. When you mix that coke with that weed... But he does powder his nose, and he's not afraid to say it. I think he said it on um, The Breakfast Club before with Charlemagne, Angela Yee, and uh, DJ Envy. He clearly said that he does, but he made it clear that he is a businessman, and he doesn't do coke between the hours or drink between the hours of 8 a.m. till about 5 or 6 p.m. I think something like that he said, or 7 p.m., after that, do not call my phone because I am fucked up, is what he said. Police also says that he was wanted on a warrant for driving under the influence. See, Trick Daddy was born about 45 years ago in a place we call Liberty City down here in Florida. He was booked into Turner Guilford Night Correctional Center around 7.30 a.m. 
and let it be known that he posted his bond real quick and got up out of there real quick. He was arrested early in the morning, Saturday morning, and by Saturday afternoon, he was at his restaurant. Yes, he got a restaurant. A lot of people are saying, Trick Daddy doing bad. He ain't got no money left. Trick Daddy is one of them that's doing very well, okay? So... By the time they arrested him, a few hours later, he was spotted at his restaurant, which we're going to talk about in a minute anyways, and he was out there, big old celebrity style, the crowds gather around him, people come through to get their food, but they also come through to side, stand next to the superstar, and take pictures with the mayor of the 305. So, his bond was set at $5,000 for the cocaine possession charge. And $1,000 on driving under the influence. That's small money to trick daddy. Now, this ain't the rap star's first encounter with South Florida authorities. I could give you a little rundown real quick. So, in April of 2014, yes, we reaching back a little bit. Trick Daddy was arrested and charged in Miramar, which is where I grew up, with possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon. Possession of cocaine and driving with a suspended license. And this is according to a Broward Sheriff's Office Task Force. He was also arrested in 1991. We going way back. On a cocaine possession charge. Carrying a concealed firearm and violating probation. According to the CBS4 report. He served more than two years in prison. Six years before the release of his 1997 debut album based on a true story. Which if you don't have that album then you lack it. He was arrested in 2003 on assault charges. And he was also arrested on assault charges again in 2003 for threatening to kill a man over a street basketball game. The basketball pickup games get real serious. I'm telling you, you come down here to Miami and you look on the floor sometimes, you be seeing stacks. He most recently released an album that was called Finally Famous. Well, these are his albums. Finally Famous, Born a Thug, Still a Thug. His eighth album was released in 2008. But it was not commercially successful. And in October of 2019... Trick Daddy became the public face behind the new Miami Garden Soul Food restaurant called Sunday's Eatery. Now, you know, is it the fried ribs or Trick Daddy? There's a line out the door at this Miami Garden spot. And this is what was printed in the newspapers down here in Florida. So his restaurant is doing a lot of numbers jumping off the meat rack. Very, very busy and very successful. If you are ever in Miami, do stop by and check it out. It's located in Miami Gardens and it's a soul food restaurant called Sunday's Eatery. Just click on your GPS and say Miami Gardens Soul Sunday's Eatery. And it's going to take you right to Trick Daddy's restaurant. And you can go over there and eat some of the food and then give a little uh, what you think about the food. Anyhow, the joke of the day, though, is Trick Daddy's hairstyle. I, mean, I don't know. Obviously, Trick wore a lot of hats and a lot, a lot of hats and a lot of do-rags over the years. And I guess it's because he was receding. His hairline was receding. But I'm saying, though. I've been following Trick. I grew up on Trick Daddy music, so I've been following Trick Daddy since way back when he had a bald head. And believe it or not, when Trick Daddy came out with the bald head, females started jumping on that. Like back then, you had to have a bald head and you had to have a clean shaved face. I ain't, I, I didn't have no hair on my face anyways. I was a kid, but that that was the look that was trending. Just like how Rick Ross made the beard. And big belly dudes trending. And all of a sudden females wanted to share mine if you had titties and a, and a pregnant gut. Because you look like Rick Ross as long as you had a beard with it. You know what I'm saying? So, Trick. Trick, if you're listening, it's okay. You can go back to the ball head. You don't have to hang on to that stuff. I don't know why he hangs on to this thing that's floating on the top of his head. And then it looks like... He has a hairline, 
but the hairline is sprayed in. I guess that's where, like, when you pull the do rag back a little bit, females could think you got like a low face. Ah, what the hell going on with this hairdo? That trick got going on right here. And then it looked like it was permed or straightened, and I, I don't know, man. But I don't like seeing the mayor like this. Anyhow, shout out to Trick Daddy, and I'm going to let y'all know that he got up out of there as soon as he got in there. And by the time daylight was out, he was seen at his very successful restaurant. And not to forget, he is currently starring on Miami Love & Hip Hop alongside Trina. Oh, and him and Trina had one of the bangingest bangers out of Miami, which till today, yeah, no, nah, is actually an anthem. Go look it up. What y'all think about Trick Daddy's hairstyle? Do you think he should cut it all off? Uh, put it, leave, 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 or cut it all off. Go bald headed. Go back to his old look, his bald head look. Why do you think he's holding on to this piece of hair on the top of his head? Is this a midlife crisis situation? And I ain't laughing because, I don't know, you get older, all kinds of things happen to you. Trick suffers from lupus, and I don't know how that lupus stuff works out with him consuming alcohol and smoking and all this other stuff. But he said that when you change up your routine, is when you die so you go to the doctor and the doctors tell you look you gotta stop drinking you gotta stop smoking you gotta start taking these medications and as soon as you do that you're dead all the people he knows they've been doing the same routine drinking smoking snorting getting high since he was a kid and they are old now and they are still alive and they ignore all the damn doctor's orders so he's about to do the same I don't know if his lupus attacks his immune system in a way that makes his hair look like that. So I don't want to make too much fun of it and then be called out for making fun of somebody's sickness. But I do know that he's doing pretty good financially and he out here still doing him. I'm just puzzled as to why the hell his hair look like that. Leave your comments in the comment section below, man. It's Brain Flow TV. I'm out. Peace.